Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Welcome good evening. back. Okay. Let's wait for your classmates. And let me get ready for this class. How are you, class? How was your day today? Was it good? Was it busy? How was your day? Okay, let me see. Just give me a moment, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Let me... So, you know, we are about to finish with the pre intermediate two course. We only have today and tomorrow, two more classes, you know? So how do you feel? You know, I guess time flies because we are about to finish. Casi nos acá, se nos acaba el curso. ¿Cómo se sienten, clase? Are you ready to go to the next one? ¿Estamos listos para el siguiente módulo? Yes. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, teacher. Of course, yes, teacher. we're ready. More than ready, you can say. So, here we go. Hemos estado hablando de un tema en específico. La previous class, yesterday's class. What is the topic that we have been covering? We can remember about that topic. Present perfect. Mm -hmm. The present perfect with the past participle. Great job. So, have you practiced the irregular verbs? Ya practicaron los verbos irregulares. Did you practice already? Be honest. Seamos honestos. Have you practiced? <laughs> no, teacher, dicen, no hemos practicado. Not teacher. Not teacher. So please, tómenlo como un reto personal, ¿ok? De ir memorizando a diario dos o tres verbos irregulares. The past participle, right? So here we go. Let's make a quick review about the topic from yesterday. As you may remember, we were presenting the present perfect, but we were also using the expressions already and yet. Yet. If we have a question, in this case, a WH word question, we need to have, well, this is not actually a WH. We have uh, the auxiliary have, we are going to have a affirmative or negative reply. Have you been to a jazz club? In this case, this is an affirmative statement. Yes, I've been to several. In the case that we have a negative reply, we can also say I haven't or I have not been to want. Resaltemos simplemente esto. El uso de already and yet. Teacher, already? Dígame. How do you, how, I, can I say already? Already, ya. Es como Igual que ya. ya. Es como ya, también. Sí, exactamente. Los dos, los dos, los los dos son ya. Uh -huh. ¿Alguna vez? Already, ya. Aquí tenemos otra vez el yet. Miren acá. ¿Lo vemos en otra pregunta? Creo que no, ¿verdad? Son los únicos ejercicios que tenemos. Have they eaten dinner yet? ¿Cómo traduciríamos entonces el uso de yet en esta oración? Well, actually, this is an, it's a question. ¿Han ellos? ¿Ellos ya han comido la cena? Uh -huh. ¿Ya comieron o ya cenaron? Imagínense cómo cambia la traducción. No va a ir literal. Si ya cenaron. ¿Ya han cenado? Como ya, eso es un ya. Yes. They have 
already eaten, ya cenaron. Sería como una traducción de ya, ya se hizo. They have already eaten. Negative expressions. No podemos usar already porque already me hace referencia a algo afirmativo. Yet. Me hace referencia, mmm, no ha pasado todavía. ¿Ok? Entonces, para que se fijen, ¿cómo utilizar esto? Para preguntas, no puedo decir have they eaten dinner already? No. Solo puedo ocupar el yet al finalizar mi pregunta. Para oraciones negativas, solo puedo ocupar el yet. ¿A dónde? Al final de mi oración. Affirmative. I am going to use already. ¿En dónde ubico entonces already? Between the auxiliary verb and between Um, the main verb queda en medio del have y el verbo principal ok, and that's it what else can we have here the contractions repasamos ya que no hay que confundir estos tres más que todo his, she's and it because we have like similar ways in which we can express the same ideas or the written form of the verb to be. He has, she has, it has. So it depends on the context, right? Y ahí estaba lo que veíamos ayer. We are still missing the last topic. Pregunta sobre el present perfect. Pregunta sobre este tema porque nos vamos a pasar a uno más. Questions about this one, the present perfect. Not really. Acuérdense que es como decir o agregarle a mi oración el han, han ellos comido, han leído, han dormido o has hecho esto, has. Es como agregar el han o el has. Y es una acción que puede ser eh, tomada como inicia en el pasado, continúa en el presente. Algo rutinario, algo que no tiene relevancia en tiempo. ¿Y qué más? Así podíamos tomar el present perfect, right? Remember, este tema vuelve a repetirse ya pronto en uno de los próximos módulos. So, please keep on practicing about this topic. Let me show you the topic for class number 15. Look what we have right here. The use of four And the use of since, for, and since. Aquí está. For and since. So, tomemos nota del tema, class number 15. This is one of the last classes that we are going to have. Uh, covering this topic, okay? For and since. So, before we continue, We are going to check the exercises that we have in section number five. I know you have already done those exercises. Miren, ahí estamos usando el presente continuo. Sé que ya los hicieron. You have already done those exercises. Pero me interesa que los hagamos juntos. Look what we have here. Here we go. Veamos el primer ejercicio. Instructions. Use the present perfect. Or you can also use the simple past of the verb given. Number one. Look what we have here. Is this an affirmative, negative, or interrogative statement? What is this? Affirmative, negative. Interrogative. It's question. It's a question, right. And we have the verb sing. Okay. ¿Cuál es la forma correcta? ¿Cómo sé cuál es la forma correcta? Depende de el sujeto. Verb. Okay. El sujeto. So you. Can I use has? No. Whenever I have 
the, the subject you, the bird, you know, this is the subject, I'm sorry. So I have this one, have sung and have song, which is the correct one? One, two, or three? Number three. Three? Why mm. number three and not number one? Third option. Why? Why is the verb? The verb in past participle is sung. It's sung. How about this one? What the is the tense? Is it past. pasado? This past. is in past. past. Great. Simple past. Simple past. Have you ever sung in a karaoke bar? ¿Cuál sería mi respuesta? Yes, I did. Yes, I have. Or yes, I have. 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 Y aquí, miren, se acaba mi primer parte de la pregunta dividida por un punto. Por eso es que el verbo que le sigue ya no va en presente perfecto. ¿Ok? Porque aquí ya hace referencia al pasado. Yes, I have seen. Sí. ¿Eh? Y ahora ya me dicen otro momento. I have, no, I sang one on my birthday. Uh -huh. Ahí está la diferencia. Number three, we have again an interrogative statement. And we have the verb lose. Okay, which is the correct one? The first one, second one, or the third option? First. First, first one. First. first. Okay, have you ever lost. lost something valuable? Have you ever lost something valuable, class? Yes or no? ¿Saben qué es esto? Valuable. valuable. No. De gran valor. De o, valor. O de valor puede ser también sentimental para ustedes. Valor. No solo de económico. Por ejemplo, su teléfono. Your cell phone. Las llaves. Algo que, que es muy valuable. Money, probably. Yes or no? No, nunca han perdido nada valuable. Le llamamos o de gran valor. Have you ever lost? something valuable? Yes, I lost my wallet. Your wallet, wow. Two years. Two years ago. Two, two days ago. Two days ago, really? This week? Yes, this week. So you lost, uh, and did you get it back, no? Do you remember where did you lost? No, I think that I lost my wallet on the park because I went to the park with my daughter. You, and oh, you went I there. I think I forgot it. You forgot it there. This has happened yeah. to me, you know? También me ha pasado, you know? I just like put my stuff, you know, at any place and then I don't remember if I had it or not. So yes, it happens, right? So as this is a question, ¿cuál sería la respuesta correcta? Luis Eduardo, veamos con Luis Eduardo. Have you ever lost something valuable? Second. No, I haven't. Muy bien. Lo mismo les digo acá. No, I haven't. ¿Por qué? Porque me están preguntando con el auxiliar have. Negative, haven't. Now, we have the second part of the reply, but this is a negative as well. But my brother... Lost. Lost his camera on a trip once. Entonces, ¿cuál es el pasado participio y cuál es el pasado simple del verbo luz? ¿Será el mismo? ¿Lost? ¿Lost? Yes, the same. Yes, it is the same. Muy bien, es el mismo. Lost es luz, lost, and lost. Great job. Number five, Francisco Antonio, make the question, please. Complete teacher. Yeah, please. Go ahead. Have you, have you ever gotten a traffic ticket? Okay. Have you ever gotten 
a traffic ticket. ¿Saben qué es un traffic ticket? En El Salvador. What is a traffic ticket? Una multa. Una multa. So have you ever gotten a traffic ticket? Hacia la izquierda, hacia la derecha se abre. Yes, no. Yes or no. In my case, I have never, I have never gotten a traffic ticket. Nunca me han puesto una multa. Thanks, God. Number six. Number six. Let me see. Veamos, preguntémosle a Jorge Alberto. Have you ever gotten a traffic ticket? ¿Cómo respondemos? Yes, I have got, perdón. Yes, I have once I got a ticket and have to pay in $50. Ah, aquí se sí leemos primero el $50 y luego aquí el currency, $50. Okay. $50. So, yes. Excellent job. Muy bien. Next one. Uh, Melissa hace la pregunta y Linda responde la número 8. Go, please. Make the question, Melissa. Uh, have you ever seen a, a live concert? Have you ever seen a live concert? In your case, Melissa, ¿alguna vez ha ido a un concierto en vivo? Have you ever seen or visto a live concert? Uh -huh. Yes or no? Only in, in, in a short. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so, Linda, number eight. Yes, I have. I seen you two at the stadium last year. Last year, okay. Vaya, tenemos acá la primera pregunta, la primera parte. Yes, I have. Estamos muy bien con esta. Miren la segunda opción. I, you two at the stadium last year. B, I, you two en el estadio el año pasado. Last year, una acción que ya finalizó. Sería, I saw. Sería cuál. Mm, muy bien. Esta es la correcta. So, ¿por qué es la correcta? So and not seen. Porque está en pasado. Porque está en pasado. Incluso tengo una expresión de que finalizó el año pasado. So, so this is the correct one. Excellent. Number nine and number ten. Las últimas dos. Genesis, make the questioning number nine. And please, um, Carla Lisset, you finish with number 10. Go, please. Have you ever been late for an important appointment? Okay, great. Have you ever been late for an important appointment? Carla Lisset, number 10. Probably she's not there. Ivan, help me out with number 10. Uh, we cannot hear you. Please check out your. Not really. Now? Now we can. Go, please. Yes, we can. Okay. No, I haven't. Okay, By no my way. sister was 30 minutes late for her wedding. Wedding. Exactly. No, I haven't. But my sister was 30 minutes late for her wedding. Wow, interesting. Veamos cómo nos quedó. Here we go. That's okay. That's all right. Muy bien. Sabemos cómo distinguir entonces el pasado del presente perfecto en este, en este ejercicio? I guess, right? I guess you already can. So, let's watch this video so we can move on. Si tenemos el tiempo, nos vamos a quedar con este, ¿ok? The present perfect with just already and yet. Tenemos también este ejercicio ahora. But before, we are going to watch this video. And please, remind me, ¿me acuerdan después de esto de la asistencia? Please, to check the attendance list. Here we go. Hello, in this session, the use of for and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. 
How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years. For a week. For a month. For hours. For two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with for. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Okay, quite interesting. And I guess it's like not that difficult to use this structure. So let me go back to the video so we can Hello, in this have session, the, same the use of again. for and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. Okay, look at the examples How that we have. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Okay, let me make a pause here and let's see. Take a look at the first questions. Miren la primera pregunta. ¿Qué pueden decirme de la primera pregunta? What can you say about this one? How long did it's you live? Muy bien, es una acción que... It's a simple past. Isn't a simple past. How long did you live? Okay, ya no vive más en Tailandia. So how long did you live in Thailand? Por eso respondemos con el pasado. Pasado simple. I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. Okay, next one. Second question. How long have you lived in Miami? ¿Qué estructura es esta? Have you lived? Is present this in past? Perfect. No, this is in present perfect. Can I use the expression for? Sure, I can. I have lived here for six months. I love it here. Or I can also say, I have lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. So what is the difference? As you may see, Ambas me sirven para expresar el que. For and for. I have these the two examples. Tiempo. Tiempo. Pero ¿cuál es la diferencia entonces entre for and since? For two years, for six months, for one day, for I... 11 years. Uh -huh. Tell me. Not really. I think, okay. I think that so. we use for for a specific time. If okay. you want to specify the time that you stayed in a place, maybe. And since we use since when you are talking about um, a period of time or something like that. For like, example, exactly. I have lived here since last year. There you are we not go. Specify the time. So, no nos dice eso el video, pero igual. Muy bien. Ahora lo sabemos, a specific time we are going to use for. Estoy siendo específica. But if I want to make a comparison between, puede ser between a period of time, inició cuando, terminó cuando. Between, mm, no le pongamos between, pongámosle a not in specific period of time. 
y que no ha finalizado también y continúa. Entonces ahí voy a ocupar el que, el sin. Look at the second examples that we have here. I have lived, lived here since last year. He vivido acá desde el año pasado. ¿Será que ya no vive ahí, en Miami? ¿O continúa viviendo en Miami? Is she still living there? Continúa. Continúa. ¿Hasta cuándo va a vivir en Miami? I don't know. We don't know. Okay. En el caso de la número uno. I have lived here for six months. ¿Será que igual ya terminó la acción? ¿Finalizó o continúa viviendo en Miami? ¿Qué piensan? Is she still living there? He or she living there? What do you yes. think? Continúa. Continúa, pero ¿cuál es la diferencia entonces? Ambas hacen referencia a que continúa viviendo acá. Specific time. For six months. Estoy siendo específica. For six months. In the case of the second one since last year. No me dices si ya llevo un año, dos años viviendo. O cuántos meses específicos. So, one is a specific time. And since it's not a specific time. Right? Take a look at the other examples that we have here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years. For a week. For a month. For hours. For two hours. I have worked here for five years. Great. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Okay, what else do we have here? You know the expressions that we can use with for. Hay muchas más, pero son como estas, un grupo específico. Look what we have here. The second one, the present perfect with for. 20 years, 20 years. I'm being specific. We have thought at this school for a long time. In this case, probably is not being that specific, but we are making reference that we have been doing like the same actions and we still continue doing the same action, right? In the case of this one, three months, it's being specific. Y... ¿Será que ya no va a seguir casada después de esos tres meses? Alice has been married for three months. Not right. She will still be married after that period of time. No ha finalizado. Okay. They have been at the hotel for a week. ¿No se especifica cuándo van a irse del hotel? Yes or no? Not right. No. We do now. So, también pueden ver esto. Han vivido aquí por 20 años. No sé cuándo van a dejar de vivir ahí. Ha estado enseñando. Si sí, es cierto que no es específico, pero continúa enseñando ahí. Right? So, for a long time, for 20 years, for three months, for a week. And you can also have, like here, more specific information. Right? Five years, two hours, for a week, for a month. So, for example, ¿cuánto tiempo, tiempo hemos estado en el pre-intermedio 2? How long have we been in this course? ¿Cuánto tiempo hemos estado acá? We have, we been, have been in, we have in this course. Three weeks. Four. Three weeks. Four weeks. Yes, three weeks. No, four, right? Actually, four. four. Because we are about to finish four weeks. Four weeks. Okay. General, specific. We have been, oops, like this one. In this course, desde cuando? Since? Since November. Since November, I don't remember, to be honest. I don't Since remember. Since October. October? No, I, yes. I don't. When was Since it? November. Uh, November, November, right? I yeah. guess it was on like November, the first week of November. 
So, number like six. Six, 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 seven. Okay, let's say six. I don't remember. So, ahí pueden ver también información más específica. Since November the sixth, for four weeks, right? Great example. Class, are you single or married? In your case, con soltero o casado. Are you single or married? Married. Married. Okay. How I'm long married. have you been married. married? Okay, married. Los que están casados, preguntémosles. How long have you been married? I have married for. Mm -hmm. Been married. ¿Por cuánto tiempo han estado casados? Miren la estructura. Have you been married? So, tell I me. Have been, I have been married mm -hmm. for seven years. Okay. For seven years. ¿Desde cuándo? I have been Oops, like this one. Married. Since, ¿desde cuándo? When was it? ¿En qué año fue? Like, to 20, 20, what was it? 2000, ¿qué? 20... Like 15. 16, 16, right? 15. 15, since 2015. Yes. Okay. More specific information. I have been married for seven years. I have been married since 2015. ¿Quién más me da su ejemplo? How long have you been married? Go, please. Let me listen to you. I have been... I have been married for six years. For six years. Mm -hmm. I have been married since 2016. 2016. Great job. Any other who wants to practice? How long have you been married? I, teacher, I have been married for... Uh, 15 years. 15 years, okay. Uh, I have been married since uh, uh, 20... <laughs> 28. <laughs> so 20... How do we say 2008? No. 20... Is 7. Ajá, pero eh, 20, 27 sería este, 27. ¿Cómo lo leemos, clase? Yo, yo ent entendí muy bien la referencia. ¿Cómo leemos 2007 en inglés? Ajá. 2007. We can say 2007. Hay otra forma. ¿Quién recuerda? Maybe 2007. Excelente, 2007. Aquí decimos O, oh, 2007. Para distinguir, great job, wow, 15 years, 15 años. ¿Quién ha estado casado más tiempo? ¿Sabes? Que nos pasa ahí el secreto para durar mucho, 15 años. ¿Alguien más? ¿Nobody? No, dice. Soy la más fuerte. <ríe> wow, María Dolores. Y los que están solteros, no, no me quiero casar. Dicen, I don't want to get married. Great job, great job. <laughs> great job, exactly. Great job de parte de ambos, ¿verdad? De María Dolores y su esposo. Romeo, le den aplauso virtual. <laughs> Excellent, right. So this is just a reference. Continuemos con el ejemplo. For and since. Pero vamos captando la idea de for and since. Específico, no tan específico. Let's continue. It's a specific yes, moment. Yes. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, mm -hmm. since 2 o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. 
Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Right, so more specific information. Desde. Y algo que continúa, ¿verdad? Desde. 1980, 1965, since March the 2nd, since last Tuesday, since 2 o'clock, since this morning, many expressions, but we are given like more detailed information, right? How do you feel this topic? ¿Cómo sienten este tema? Easy or difficult? Now, vamos a la práctica. Do you want to go to the practice? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. So here we go. This is a speaking practice. What are you going to do? Veamos. Mm, les pongo esta. Ah, this is very easy. Look what we have here. Oh, no, no, no. Let me check the attendance list before I forget. I always tend to forget, you know, about the attendance list. Here we go. Aquí están ustedes. Andrea Gabriela Maravilla. Andrea Gabriela Maravilla. Carlos Edgardo Cruz. Present teacher. Ok, Carlos. Carmen Lisette Santillana. Present teacher. Excelente. Claudia Rebeca Orellana. Edwin Edgardo Alarcón. Present teacher. Ok, Edwin. Esmeralda Isabel Vázquez. Esmeralda Isabel Vázquez. Francisco Antonio Calderón. Ok, Esmeralda. Thank you. Esmeralda. Francisco Antonio. I am here, teacher. Ok. Génesis Ariel Pacheco. I am here. Okay, Genesis, Ivan Ibrahim Ramil. Here, teacher. Excellent. Jennifer Tatiana Gutierrez. Present, teacher. Okay, Jennifer. Jorge Alberto Rivera. Present, teacher. Okay, Jorge. Jose Alberto Enriquez. Present. Okay, Jose. Jose Alexander Hernández. Present teacher. Ok, excellent. Karina Alejandra Aquino. Karina Alejandra. Carla Lizeth Martinez. Present teacher. Ok, Carla. Carla Stephanie Rivera. Present teacher. Ok, excellent. Catherine Miracema Villalta. Catherine Villalta. Leticia Aide Flores. Present. Ok, Leticia. Linda Beatriz López. Present. Ok. Luis Eduardo Méndez. I'm here. Excellent. Mayra Xiomara Guevara. Present. Excellent. María Dolores García. Present. Excellent. Maritza Elizabeth Rojas. Present. Excellent. Melissa Stephanie Linares. Present. Wow, great. Romeo Vladimir Rosales. Present teacher. Excellent. Wendy Paola López. Wendy Paola López. And Jessica Esmeralda Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. So here we go. Let's go to the practice. Let me show you what we are going to do. For and scenes. So here we have like the same examples at the beginning. And after that, we have this exercise. Letter C, la letra C. Let me see, quien nos ayuda a leer la letra C? Who wants to read? Carmen Lisette, go ahead, please. Instructions, lea las instrucciones, por favor. These ones. Don't, okay. Complete. Complete these sentences with four or things, then compare with a partner. Right Complete 
then compare with a partner. Before we go, I want you to notice this one. Lo que les decía, podemos tener estas expresiones. Expressions with four. Two weeks, a few months, several years, a long time. Here we have some other examples. When using sin. Specific time, 6.45, last weekend, 2009, elementary school, right? So what are you going to do? I want you to notice. Quiero que vean si es tiempo específico or not. For example, 6 a.m. Vean también el contexto que tenemos acá. Y ocupen four and since. We only have eight exercises. Ocho ejercicios, grupo, y luego volvemos. Tenemos un speaking practice at the end of the class. Is it clear what we are going to do? Yes? Claro lo que vamos a hacer o no? Yes. Yes, sure. yes, sure, sure. I know. We can do it. So here we go. Let me send this picture to WhatsApp so we can go ahead and practice. Oh, hasta ahorita leo el chat. Ya vamos a identificar los que me enviaron mensaje, ¿ok? Don't worry. So, here we go. From five to six minutes and then we come back. Go class. Let me see. Here we go. Groups of five and groups of four. Here we go. Speaking time. Okay, Carlos, don't worry. You can stay here. Ah, okay, Romeo, hasta ahorita leo su mensaje. Oh, but Romeo is not here. Okay. la imagen, no sé si la vamos haciendo así ok, no problem no buenas noches compañeros y... buenas noches igual de mi internet es más prácticamente no escucho nada de la no envió la, la imagen en la link la link acá está no puedo no puedo ni nada nada yo creo que Pero... tengamos toda la imagen ahí y lo vamos haciendo la primera ¿Te parece? la primera no sé quién la lee yo la puedo leer y ahí vamos bueno no okay. la puedo leer así pero ahí fue Aura was in Central America eh, el espacio a month last year eh, con cuál la podíamos yeah, completar Sería for. Hola. Sería for. For a month la, last year. For. Yes. Ok. Because it's a, it's a period time. Entonces en la primera sería for. Ahí se quedó trabado. <risa> okay. Vaya. El segundo lo leo, si gustan. Sí, sí, está bien. 
I've been a college student almost for years. ¿Cuál sería en ese caso? Dice, uh -huh. yo he estado... Yes, yo, yeah, for... yo he sido un estudiante del colegio. Ahí uh, sería for. For, siempre for. For, okay. for almost four years. Por casi cuatro años, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Uh -huh. el ¿Quién nos apoya con el tercero? Yo. Ok. Come on. Eh, uh, Hiroshi has been at work eh, since 6 eh, o'clock o a.m. Great job. Yes. Y since. Uh -huh. Next. Porque pues son estas oportunidades rápido. Sí. Me está llamando, ¿verdad? Bueno, no, la ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Sí. Se yes. está despidiendo yes. ya. No, no, no. Todavía no. Nos queda mañana la clase. No me pongan triste. No, no, no. ¿Qué pasó? Dígame, Marito. No, teacher, este, teníamos duda de aquí, de, de la pronunciación okay. de, del okay, Seven. Okay. Number Jennifer Seven. Was. Engage. 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 Acuérdense que me pasa. Engage. Engage. Okay. ¿Saben Engage. qué es eso? Engage. No. 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 Before we get married. Antes de casarnos, ¿cuál es la etapa que...? Compromiso. Ajá, comprometido. Ah, Ese es el engagement. Ah, compromiso, engagement. Ah, engagement. Qué bonito. Yes, engagement. Right? There we go. Okay. So, did you think you terminar? Ok. Vamos, volvamos ya. Let's go back to the main room. Ok. Ok, time to go back. Let's wait for your classmates. Here we go. Time to go back. How was this exercise? Was this easy, difficult? Okay. But before we continue, quiero que vamos esto. Before we check the answers that we have there, probably we are still having like um this kind of confusion. Whenever we are going to use scenes. Ahí creo que se me están confundiendo algunos. But take a look at this explanation. Vean esta explicación that we have here. Probably this is going to help you to get a better understanding. Miren acá tenemos esta explicación. First one. Use for plus a period of time. Aquí está la estructura. To describe how long a present condition has been true. Miren esta palabra. Present condition. Una acción que ya terminó. Not really. Sino que continúa. Right? We have been in New York for two months. Estamos hablando del presente. Acuérdense que es el presente perfecto. But what is the explanation that we have here? We arrived two months ago. So it means that they are going to stay there probably for um, maybe some extra weeks. I don't know. For a certain period of time, right? Acá le veo, les presento esto. Una condición presente. Que okay, continúa la acción. Since plus a point in time, it is going to be used to describe when a present condition began, started. Miren acá, cuando inició. Si sí es cierto que ambas hacen referencia a una condición en el presente, pero en esta es más específica. Cuando dio inicio, ok. For example, we have been here since August. ¿Desde cuándo estoy acá? 
desde agosto. Ok. Am I still at that place? Yes. Because we continue in the same place. So, así pueden ustedes distinguir for and since. And here we have number one. Is it for or since? Le voy preguntando individual y ustedes me las responden. Iván, number one. Luis Eduardo, number two. Maritza, number three, please. Go ahead. Okay. Number one, four. Do you agree on that class? Yes or no? Four. Yes. Yes, teacher. Number yes, one, teacher. four. Yes, teacher. Maura was in Central America for a month last year. That's all right. La acción terminó. Number two. Number two, I've been a college student for almost four years. That's all right. Do you agree on that one, class? Do you have a different reply? That's right. That's all right. Great job. Number three. Go ahead. Hirochi, Hirochi has been at work since 6 a.m. Great. Since an specific period of time. Excellent. Number four, um, Genesis. Number five, Jose Alexander. And number six, Mayra. Go please. I haven't gone to a party for a long time. Wow, I haven't gone to a party for a long time. Same here, number five. Sean. Um, Sean lived in Bolivia for two years as a kid. Wow. For two years as a kid. Do you agree on this one? Do you have a different reply? For or since? Is it correct? Since. For. For. Since. For or since? Since. It's for because it's a action that finished in the past. Exactly. Leave it. Tell it's yes. Sin. We cannot say since, you know? Seguiría viviendo en Bolivia, Maritza. As a kid, cuando fue un niño. So, for two years as a kid. That's all right. Muy bien. Number six. Who got this one? Number six. My parents. My, ha uh -huh, my, go parents, my parents have been on vacation uh, since Monday. Since Monday. What does it mean? Are they still on vacation or not, Mayra? ¿Están todavía de vacación o no? Yes. 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 Yeah, sure. So since Monday. For that, there we since. Go. Since. Romeo, please, number seven. And... Jennifer was in... Yeah, go ahead, please. Jennifer was engaged to kill uh, for six months. For six months. ¿Qué nos quiere decir esta idea? He was engaged. Estuvo comprometida. To Theo for six months. Is she still engaged or not? No. No. Not no, right? No. Yeah. Ya se casó, no. muy bien. So, the last one. Did you participate already, Jose Alexander? Sí. Ya participó. Yo dije la cinco. Sí, really? La cinco. <laughs> okay. Sí. Ah, but you had your camera off. Es lo que pasó. So, number eight. Cualquiera de la clase, number eight. Francisco Antonio levantó la mano. Go, please, Francisco. <laughs> Alex and Brianna have been best friends since high school. Okay, are you still friends? Do they continue being friends or not? Yes. Yes. Sure. I yes, have no? a double. Tell with me. With the second one. Okay. It, uh, no. It's, why is four? Why is it for and not since? ¿Qué piensan, yes. clase? Why is it for and not since? Uh, I, I have been a college student. 
for almost four years, por casi cuatro años. Estoy siendo específica desde el año pasado, hace dos horas. Not really. Ok. Estoy hablando en términos generales. Por casi Está dando como años. un periodo de tiempo. Un periodo de tiempo que no ha finalizado tampoco. Ok. Tiempo Entonces, específico. Y exactamente, dice por casi cuatro años, incluso no está seguro si son cuatro, si son tres, si ya van a ser cinco años, so it's not being that specific, right? Por eso es que usamos four. Oh, okay. That's right. I guess. Questions about this exercise? Questions? Les voy a enviar esta captura ahorita para que les quede el ejercicio. No question, teacher. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's clear, teacher. Okay, it's clear. So here we go. Let me see. Okay. Let me send this picture right now. Vámonos a la última actividad. Speaking practice. So, hagámosla de este tema. Four and six. Ya luego repasaremos todo el contenido. So, four and scenes. We still have like one or three minutes to finish this practice. Okay. You know, whenever I try to send a picture, I don't know why it is giving me always a hard time. No me dejen enviarles las pictures, I don't know why. Let me try it again. Ah, okay, I see a proof. Teacher. Okay, ahí está. Tell me. Fíjese que yo tengo una consulta. Fíjese Dígame. de que en la en la en el examen final de la de la de esta última sección. Sí. En la última pregunta ya la estructuré de mil maneras y vi que unos compañeros mandaron este uh -huh. unas capturas al grupo de WhatsApp. Muy bien. Sin embargo, yo tomé eh, este, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, veo, veo que a ellos te los ha calificado bien la plataforma y a mí no me la califica. Really? Ah, okay. no, no entiendo por qué, fíjese. Vamos a ver qué pasa. En el final exam, you said. Ajá, en la última pregunta. One. This mm -hmm. one, letter, what letter is this one? E, reading part, this one. Mm. No. Not really this one, probably. No, no es. Este es. Rewrite. Este, fíjese que la última me la, me la, no me la acepta la plataforma, entonces me sale 95% de, sí, 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 sí. de hacer. Entonces ya la escribí y no me sale. Y vi que los compañeros mandaron una captura y la he escrito de, de, las, dos pre, de las dos formas que tira la plataforma, las dos posibles respuestas. Muy bien. Y no me la acepta, no sé por qué. Vaya, es una pregunta que vamos a elaborar. Primero que necesitamos para una pregunta, sujeto. O necesitamos una WH word. En este caso, who's. WH. Who's. the person. Who's the person. Si sí, no estoy mal, parece que la estructura es quién es la persona que está sentada en el sofá junto a Jason, parece. Ajá, next to Jason. So, dictémosla. Who's the person? Who's the sitting. person sitting? Muy bien, le sigue el verbo. Sitting on the couch. On the couch. Next to Jason. Next to Jason. Y hasta el signo de interrogación. Let me see. Signo de interrogación le puso. No, no lo incluí. No. Pero fíjese que yo le escribo tal cual y no me la acepta la plataforma. Reinicié la máquina y tampoco me entiendo no, vaya, por qué. Se la, voy a, se la voy a copiar. A mí me la aceptó de la otra forma. ¿De cuál Pienso forma? Pienso que debe ser por algún espacio que debe tener de más. Ajá. O tal fíjese vez. que o no. El, o, o el apóstrofe. De... <ríe> o el apóstrofe no, también. A mí me la aceptó no. de, otra, de la otra forma. Vaya, se la voy bueno, a poner. Bueno, voy a mejor alguna letra se le ha de ver colado. Si gusta, se la, ajá, se la pongo en, en WhatsApp y acá también para que copie y pegue. Y probemos ahorita, ahorita mismo, antes de irnos Vaya, de sí, esta porque clase, para que, sí. que le quede ya correcto. 
Vale, gracias. So, go ahead, please. So, y eso también que... a veces como que la máquina corrige ciertas palabras Ajá. y ahí es donde el corrector eh, escribe mal, <risa> digamos, pero Exacto. eso es. Eso, eso. Y esa parte sí estuvo super, para mí, al menos para mí, súper difícil. Really? Ok, but don't get frustrated. Bien, clase, sí, mejor dejemos, saben que el speaking practice para mañana, tomarnos más tiempo, determinar for and since. Y de igual manera vamos a hacer un repaso de todo el final exam y de la section number five, ok? It was a very nice class. Thank you so much for participating. And we are going to continue tomorrow in our last class, okay? okay thank, thank you, teacher. Class. Good, night, you. good night, teacher. Good night to you. Thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Have a good night. Bye-bye.